Guess where I'm planning to go? Goa. I'm so excited. Especially because I'm going with four of my friends. I need your help with planning and packing. I also need to figure out how much to pay for all the tickets. What we know is that each ticket costs 1000 rupees. How do we find the total cost for all tickets? Since each ticket costs us 1000 rupees and we are five people, so the total cost of tickets will be 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000. Adding 1000 five times is the same as multiplying 1000 with 5. 1000 here is the price of one ticket while 5 is the number of tickets. So, we can say that the total amount paid will be the price of one ticket multiplied by the total number of tickets. So, multiplying 1000 by 5, we get 5000 rupees. That was easy to figure out, wasn't it? We need to pay 5000 rupees for 5 people. Oh wait, there seems to be an extra discount based on the weight of luggage we are carrying. Hmm. How can we estimate how much luggage my group will carry this time around? Last time I went to Goa with three friends, we carried 24 kg luggage. Can we use this information to guess how much luggage we will need this time? Let's try. First, we need to find out how much luggage did one person carry last time we made the trip. We can find it using the amount of total luggage carried by four people. Since we do not have the exact value of each person's luggage, we can divide the total value by the number of people to get a rough idea. Dividing 24 by 4, we get 6. So each person carried about 6 kg. We can now use this information to find the luggage needed for 5 people. We can multiply 6 with 5 and we have 30 kg. We can plan for around 30 kg of luggage. This method in which we first find the value of one unit and then the value for the required number of units is known as unitary method. Oh, awesome! The flight booking portal says that for every passenger carrying less than 10 kg weight, they are giving a discount of 100 rupees per ticket. Since we have only around 6 kg weight per person, we qualify for the discount. Can you guess how much will be the total discount? Yes! Exactly! I will get a total discount of 500 rupees. Which means, out of 5000 rupees, now I need to pay only 4500 rupees. That was fun. Thanks for the help. Let's just look back to see what we have learned today. Unitary method is all about finding the value of a single unit. And then, we multiply the value of a single unit with the number of units to find the required value. I will soon be packing my bag. I need to pack t-shirts. I should carry two for each day. So how many t-shirts will I need for a four day trip? We can use the unitary method to find the answer. It is eight, exactly. Great. Now it is your turn to use the unitary method in your life. And remember, we stay curious.